I've got a mower here. It's actually a Craftsman mower with a Briggs and Stratton engine on it. It will not start. It does have spark and it will start if you spray starting fluid in the carburetor. So that's a pretty clear indication to me that the carburetor's got a problem. It's got the plastic carburetor on it. I'm going to show you how to remove that, how to clean it. We'll reassemble it and see if that fixes our problem. Let's get started. First we're going to remove the air filter and the air filter cover. Got four screws in here. And they're actually two different sizes, unfortunately. And we'll set that aside. Next, I'm going to remove the cover. So we have easy access to working on it. Just set that up here, leave the screws in it. Next thing is the fuel line attached to the carburetor. Just going to squeeze this clamp, move it back. And the fuel tank just lifts off. And we will remove it from the carburetor. It's got fuel in it, so I'm going to leave it tipped up. Whoops. And set aside like that. Next, the carburetor. It's pretty simple. It just pulls straight out. It's not screwed in or anything. It slides in this bracket. That's it. Tip it up. Disconnect the automatic choke. And disconnect the throttle. Set those aside. We'll take this to the workbench. Clean it up. I dump fuel out that I can. All right, set that aside. And now we'll remove the float bowl. It's seated in there with a little rubber o-ring and so you can take a little screwdriver or a pocket knife and gently pry this apart there we go there's our float Dump the rest of the fuel over here, and we'll clean this up. Now this little pin here, it would just pop out, and you can do that. It just snaps in those grooves there, but since this thing's all plastic, I just uh, I try to be careful and not break something. There you go. And now we can pull the float out. And 
here's the needle. That just slides right in there like that. That's what opens and closes the needle valve for the proper amount of fuel. Next, we're gonna pull this cartridge out. The fuel is fed through that little port there. And I think that's typically where it gets clogged. So we're gonna take this out, clean it up. I just go beside it here, again with a little screwdriver. There we go. And we are going to spray carburetor cleaner through all these ports and make sure that that's all clean as well as in there and I'm also going to spray in these little holes in here one there and one on that side through here for the needle and we'll be all cleaned up put it back together that's as far as you can break these down All right, got some carb cleaner here. I'm spraying here. And you see that came right up through, so we're clean there. And like I said, I'm gonna do these two little holes here. See that coming through there? And I'm going to spray into these holes here. You can see that coming out. It's good. All right. We got the body all cleaned up. I'm going to take a little teeny tiny wire, push that through there. The same down here. See it coming through? And that's probably where the problem was. This really isn't necessary, but if you have compressed air, it doesn't hurt to blow this out. I can't stress enough, especially with these tiny little ports. When you're done using your mower at the end of the season, you have to drain the gas out and run it out of the carburetor. Otherwise, you're gonna run into this, especially with a carburetor like this. Now we'll reassemble it. There's a little pocket in this one here. The other two are just down level, but that's what this rubber gasket or rubber o-ring is for. It fits in there, so make sure you put this back the right way and just press it in. 
and we'll put our float back in. This little groove fits in here. Again, you can put this pin in and just snap it in, and I'm sure that would be fine. It just concerns me that since this is all plastic, I don't want to break something, so I'm going to feed it through if I can. There we go. It just slides in there. And the needle's seated in there, right? So we're good. I just put the cover back on. The, the bowl. And we're ready to reinstall. And we're just going to do the opposite of what we did. Hook up the throttle. Choke. And like I said, this just slides in. These two little nubs here go in this groove. This bracket's what holds the carburetor. Press it in. We're secured. Bring in the fuel tank. Hook up the fuel line. And slide the tank back in. Take the pliers and move the hose clamp back over. Done. Put the cover back on. Now to get the cover on, you want to pull the string just a little bit because it locks into the flywheel. See that? It dropped in. And then there's just uh, three screws that hold that in. Okay, I've got it snug down, got the fuel hooked up. I'm going to hold off on putting this on until I can confirm that it'll start. We'll give it a little head start, shoot a little starting fluid in there. And see if that took care of the problem. subscribing and I look forward to helping you with other projects online.